Hello everyone and welcome to Crafting with Delonda. It's me again, Delonda. And thank you so much for joining me today. As you can tell, I have a special guest sitting right here next to me. Her name is Morgan. She is my daughter. She is doing this tutorial on my channel about how to make this cute little crocheted frog cap. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> In this tutorial, she says it is for beginners. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you that I know nothing about how to crochet. You will need to know how to do a double crochet, how to do a slip stitch, and how to do a magic circle in order to follow along with her. She does sell this actual um, frog beanie maybe it's called a, is it called a beanie ruffle beanie ruffle beanie mm -hmm. um however she wants to encourage you to try to make it on your own now if you're interested in purchasing one because you've tried and you can't do it she does have an etsy shop her shop is called love stitched by morgan it'll be showing on the screen and the link to her etsy shop will be listed below the video at the end of this tutorial if you find it helpful or you just enjoy it, remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. Now, without further ado, Morgan, Let's take it away. <laughs> the materials I'll be using for this project include this olive green yarn, black yarn, white yarn and light pink yarn this brand is i love this yarn you can find this in person at hobby lobby that's where i purchased it from or you can get it off their website and they also have this yarn on amazon so i'll make sure to link it below in the description i will also be using a stitch marker this is also optional but i think for the sake of this tutorial i'll just use them to make it clear on which stitch i am starting with You'll need a pair of scissors, a darning needle. I have super glue here. This is also optional. I, I just like to use it. And then I'll be using my four millimeter hook. This is what it looks like. And without further ado, let's get started. Okay, before we get started, I just wanted to say that I wrote down the whole pattern for the hat. That's what we're gonna be starting with. So for those of you that already know how to crochet and read patterns, I have it written down right here. And then for the beginners, I'll take you step by step through how to read this problem. So down here, I wrote down what everything means. MC is magic circle. This means chain. This means slip stitch. Rep will mean repeat. DC is double crochet. This means increase. And I will take you step by step through the process of how to do this. This is how I learned to do a, ma a magic circle. There, I know there are different ways to do it, but this is the way that works best for me. So feel free to do it the way that works best for you. And this is how I do it. So I take the yarn and I wrap it around these three fingers just like that. So I go one, two, three. Then Take your crochet hook and go under the first two and over the top. Under the first two and over the top. You're gonna pull that through and turn your hand. And then I like to take my pointer finger out so now we just have our two fingers in the loop. And then you're gonna make what's what's considered the slip knot to start. So you just pull this through. So this is what we have right now. I'll do that one more time. Wrap it over three times. One, two, three. Go under the first two and over the last one. Pull it through. Take your pointer out. And you have this. 
Then you're going to make that slip knot just by pulling this through. So if you see on row one, we have the magic circle done. Next, it says to chain two. So you'll just pull through twice. One, two. So now we have our magic circle and we chain two. Now it says 12 DC. So we're gonna make 12 double crochets in the magic circle. And to make a double crochet, you're going to yarn over, pull up a loop, so you go inside the loop and pull through. So now you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. So I'll show you how to do that a few more times. But that's our first double crochet. This chain two does not count as a double crochet. So yarn over, pull up a loop. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So now we have two double crochets. And then I'll show you that one more time. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So now we have three double crochets and I'm just going to do nine more so we can have 12. So there's four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So here we have, if you count, you can see we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 and then our chain two right here which like i said does not count as a double crochet so now what i like to do is just pull this like that and then you see how there's these two strands right here there's one that's on that side and then there's one on this side you're gonna take this one and pull it tight just so we can tighten the ring so it's gonna look like that and then this tail right here, just pull that as tight as you can, and that will close the ring. So this is the first round of the hat. So we did the magic circle, we chained two, we did 12 double crochets, and now we just need to slip stitch into that first double crochet. So if you look right here, this is the chain one, this is chain two, this is the first double crochet right here. If you're not sure and it's kind of hard to see, you can always just count back from where you are. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. So you're going to slip stitch into that first double crochet. And in order to do that, you just insert your hook into that V. So you see how there's a V right there? Insert it in there. I'll do that again. Insert it, you're gonna yarn over, pull through. So now you have two loops on your hook and then just pull through again. So that's a slip stitch. So we'll do that one more time. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through again. So that is the very first round of the hat. I'll just check off where we finish, just so we know where we are. So for round two, it says to chain two. So we're just gonna do that. One, two. And then it says 12 increases. So what an increase is, is basically when you do two stitches and one stitch. So our stitch for this hat is double crochets. So we're gonna do 
two double crochets for every stitch. And like I said before, whenever you do a chain two, that does not count as a stitch. So right where we slip stitch into, if you can see this hole right here, that's where we're going to put two double crochets in. So remember how to do a double crochet, you yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that is our first double crochet, and I'm just going to use a stitch marker to mark my first stitch to help me know where I started. And then we're going to do another one in that same space where we just put the first double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So now we have just completed our first increase. And you're just going to do that same pattern for this whole round. So you're going to put two double crochets in each stitch. So I'll do the next one. So here is our first double crochet. And our second double crochet. So just do that completely around the round and I'll meet you back when I'm done. Okay, we have made it to the last double crochet. I just wanted to meet back and do it with you. So like we've been doing, put two double crochets into that stitch. And this space right here is not a stitch. This is actually where we slip stitch for the previous round. So after you count and you have 24 double crochets in this round, we can go ahead and slip stitch right into where we placed our stitch marker. So I'm just going to take the stitch marker out and slip stitch right in here. So we have the chain one. This is the chain one right here. This is chain two. This is the, the first double crochet from this round. So we're just going to insert in there, yarn over, pull through, and pull through again. And now we are done with round two check that off now we can move on to round three so chain two one two and for round three it says to do one double crochet one increase and then repeat that for the whole round so to do that you're going to put one double crochet right back into where we slip stitch because remember this does not count as a double crochet so do one double crochet right where we slip stitched into that hole right there And then I'll put my stitch marker just so I know where I am. And then we're going to do an increase. So remember the increase is when you do two double crochets in a stitch. So in this next stitch, we're going to do two double crochets. So there we have it. Now we're just going to repeat that pattern all the way around. So one double crochet, one increase, one double crochet, one increase. Just do that all the way around. One double crochet. Back into the same loop. Increase. One double crochet. In that same loop, there's our increase. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this round. And I'll be back when I'm done. Alright, I am... Um, near the end of round three and I have two stitches left so I'm just gonna go ahead and do my one double crochet and then my last increase for this round and then remember to slip stitch not in the chain one or chain two but that first double crochet so not here or here in that first double crochet And now we are done with round three. And so for round four, we're going to chain two, one, two. And then we're going to do two double crochets and then increase. And then we're gonna repeat that all the way around. So our first double crochet will go right where we slip stitched at. 
So there's our first double crochet. I'll add my stitch marker. Then we're gonna do another double crochet in the next stitch. So we have one, two, and then we're gonna increase in that third stitch. So here's our first one and our second one. So that's the pattern. You go one double crochet, one double crochet, increase. So I'll do that one more time and then I'll meet you back when I'm done. So first double crochet, second double crochet, and then increase. So there's that first one and that second one in the same stitch. So just repeat that all the way around. All right, so I made it to the end of the round. I have three loops left, so I'm gonna do one double crochet, second double crochet, increase. So one, two, increase. And then I'm gonna go ahead and slip stitch where the stitch marker is. And that is it for round four. All right. So hopefully you can kind of see the pattern with this. Um, it just goes from one increase, two increase, three increase, four increase, five increase. So now for round five, it's pretty much the same thing, but instead of two double crochets, we're doing three. So let's go ahead and do our chain two, one, two. Double crochet right back into that same hole that we slip stitched into. So there's our first double crochet. I'm gonna add my stitch marker. Now we're gonna do our second double crochet in the next stitch and then our third double crochet in the next and then increase in the next stitch. So that's the pattern for this round. One, two, three, increase. One, two, three, increase. So one, two, three, increase. And just keep doing that for this whole round. All right, we made it to the end of this round. We have four stitches left. I'm gonna go ahead and do my one, two, three increase to end this round. One, two, three, and increase. And it looks like that. Take out the stitch marker and slip stitch. And that completes round five. For round six, this one is actually pretty simple. We're just going to chain two and then just do 60 double crochets around. So we already have 60 stitches. So that just means just do one double crochet in each stitch. So like always, double crochet into that very first hole where we slip stitched. There's your first double crochet and then just move on to the next one. So double crochet, double crochet in the next, double crochet in the next and so on and so forth. So just one double crochet in each stitch all the way around. All right, I did my 60 double crochets and if you'll notice your hat should start to like curl upwards. This is actually the right side. This is the wrong side where this tail is so this is going to be the inside of your hat so you can just curve it the correct way so like i said this is the outside so did my 60 double crochets now i'm going to slip stitch right back into that first double crochet now we are done with row six all right, so for round seven, we're going to do four double crochets and then increase and then repeat that. So 
let's do our chain two one two and then double crochet right there in the first stitch add our stitch marker second double crochet third double crochet and fourth double crochet and then we can go ahead and do our increase in the next stitch one two so repeat that pattern all the way around one two three four double crochets increase in that fifth stitch one two three four increase increase and i'll meet you back when i'm done okay i made it to the end of the round i have five stitches left and i'm just gonna do one two three four increase one two three four then increase in the last stitch increase then I'll go ahead and slip stitch right back into that first double crochet and that is it for row seven sorry if you can hear Milo licking in the back <laughs> I have him in here with me for moral support. Okay, so now for round eight, we're gonna chain two, do five double crochets, increase, and then repeat that for the round. So let's do our chain two, one, two. Put our first double crochet right where we slip stitched at. Hopefully you can see that. We put our double crochet right there. I'm gonna put my stitch marker back in. So that's one double crochet. This is two, three, four, and five. And then increase in that sixth stitch. First one and the second. So like always, just repeat that throughout the whole round. So we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, increase. So I made it to the end and I have six stitches left. So one, two, three, four, five, increase. So let's do that together. One, two, three, four, five increase and then I'll go ahead and slip stitch right there and just like that we are done with increasing which makes me happy because I just prefer to keep it cool calm and consistent for around 9 through 15, we're just going to chain 2 and then do 84 double crochets. So that's just going to be one double crochet in each stitch all the way around. Similar to how we did for round 6, there's no increases or anything, just one double crochet in each stitch. So go ahead and chain 2, 1, 2, first double crochet in here, like that, and then next double crochet in the next next double crochet in the next stitch and you're gonna do that for six rounds so if you can see we have round one two three four five six seven eight so this is the start of round nine so once you count and you have up to round 15 that's when will be done with just consistent rounds of double crochet and i'll be back when i'm done with all 15 rounds okay so after about 
45 minutes, I'd say. I finished all 15 rows. Here's what it's looking like. And then I'll insert a clip of how it looks like on my head right now. And then, so, I checked off rows 9 through 15. And then, for the final row, they had, this is going to be the ruffle part. So, it's going to look like this. This is the ruffle. And if you don't want the ruffle, you can honestly stop here. Or you can just keep adding rows as many as you like. But I'm just going to go ahead and add this last row, which is going to be the ruffle. And so I already did my slip stitch and I did my chain two. And then to achieve the ruffle effect, you're just going to do three double crochets in each stitch. So like we've been doing, put our first double crochet in that stitch right there. So there's one. And then we're going to go back in there, do our second one. And then go back in and do a third one. So in every stitch, do three double crochets. So I'll show you one more time. One double crochet, two double crochets, and three. And then by the time you make it back to the end, it should have that ruffle effect. all right made it to the very last stitch gonna go ahead and finish these Ooh. that row took a while but we are officially done with the hat part so i'll go ahead and slip stitch and the best part ever take your scissors and we can fasten off so just cut it I left a tail about that long. Pull that through, pull it tight. And then what I like to do is, I'm not a big fan of weaving in ends, so the easier way for me is to just, see right here where I slip stitched? I insert my needle right back in there and I, I just go back and forth about five times. So that's three. Oh, four times, I guess. As many times as you want, honestly. And then I take my super glue. And right here, the last spot that I wove it in, <laughs> I guess. Just put a tiny, tiny dot of super glue. Right about there. So let's see if I can get that in there. Just like that and then it absorbs in let that dry for a few seconds it doesn't take very long after the glue dries I just take my scissors and just cut right there and here's the finished ruffle hat you can keep it like this or it can be like me and do the cute frog design now we're going to hide this tail right here. So I'm just going to do the same thing almost. Put the yarn in the needle. And then I kind of just insert it in this spot and then weave it in a bit. Not that much. So like that's good for me right there. And then I'll do the same thing. Use super glue and just put a tiny drop. Let it absorb. And then when it dries, just cut that tail. Just like that. And now we can move on to the face of the frog. Okay, so now that the actual hat part is done we can move on to the eyes so i made one right here and then i'm going to show you how to make them and then i also wrote down the pattern here for the eyes as well as the blush part or the cheeks whatever you want to call it 
So first we're gonna start with the black and we're gonna make a magic circle, chain two, and then do eight double crochets in the magic circle. I'm gonna refresh your memory on the magic circle. So wrap it around these three fingers three times, like that. Take your hook, go under the first two and over the last one and then pull it through and then twist your hand. Take your pointer out to hold on to that working yarn and then make your slip knot. So you're just gonna pull it through the loop like that. And then it says to chain two, so one, two. And then we're gonna do eight double crochets in the magic circle, so. There's our first one. And since I know it might be hard to see, I'm gonna use a stitch marker in this step just so I can make it a little bit easier. So there's our first double crochet. And remember, like earlier, this chain two does not count as a double crochet. So I'm gonna do seven more. That's two. three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I'm just gonna pull this loosely and then we can tighten the ring. So remember there's two strands here there's one that's on that side and then one that's on that side. You're gonna pull this one first to tighten it and then pull this tail that we have to tighten it as best as you can. So there's our first round of black. And then for the slip stitch, that's what we're gonna change to white. So if you remember like earlier, we would slip stitch where we have the stitch marker. So I'm gonna Try to fit that in there with the stitch marker. And instead of pulling through how we usually would, like that, we're going to insert our hook into that loop where we're gonna place our slip stitch and then you're gonna switch to the white yarn. So take your white yarn in your left hand or whichever hand you're using and then put it on your hook like this and then pull through. So instead of using black to do the slip stitch, we just used white. And then you're gonna chain two, like it says, one, two, and then you're gonna do eight increases. So remember that's two double crochets in each stitch. And this one does not count as a double crochet. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna crochet over these two tails just to hide it better. So this black one is the one that we were just working with, and then this white one is the tail from where we just joined. So I'm just going to remove the stitch marker and make our first double crochet. So I'm holding these two tails with the, these fingers and then the white working yarn with my pointer. I'm going to yarn over, insert right back into where we made that slip stitch at. and make our first double crochet. And then we can put our stitch marker back in. So we know that that's where our first stitch is. And it should be a bit easier to see now. And then since we're doing increases, we're gonna make one more double crochet in that same stitch. There we go. Now we're just gonna make two double crochets in every single stitch. So I'll do that again. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then do that one more time. After I did about three increases, you can go ahead and cut these tails. They should be secure enough that we don't need them anymore. So I'm just gonna just cut them. So now all we have is this white yarn that we're working with and just you should see it the tails are in there and just continue doing your increases in each stitch
And now it's time to slip stitch. We're gonna do the exact same thing we did for the previous round whenever we switched to green. So I'm gonna take out my stitch marker. Insert the hook where you're gonna make the slip stitch. And then you're gonna grab your green yarn and switch to that. So I have my green yarn, just gonna put it on the hook and then pull it through both loops. So now we made our slip stitch with the green yarn and then you could pull the white one just to tighten it a bit. So go ahead and chain two, one, two. And then like we did for the previous round, you can crochet over these tails so it's easier to hide them. So for this round, we did our chain two and then we're gonna do one double crochet and then an increase and then repeat that for the entire round. So let's do our first double crochet in the same loop where we slip stitched right there. That's our first double crochet. I'm going to add my stitch marker. And then an increase in the next stitch. So there's my first one. And here's my second one. So just repeat that pattern all the way around. One double crochet, increase. One double crochet, increase. So we're at the last two stitches. I'm going to go ahead and do my one double crochet and then my final increase for this round. And then that is it for the eye, and then we can go ahead and slip stitch and fasten off. So remove the stitch marker, slip stitch. And then we're gonna cut a tail long enough so we can sew it onto the head. So cut a tail about this long, just so it's long enough to sew and then pull through. To weave in the black tail from the middle, I'm just going to take my darning needle and put the yarn through the hole. And then I'm going to weave in the black just a little bit in the back. It doesn't really matter how you do it. I'm just gonna put it through like that. And then I'm gonna take some super glue to just glue it in place. I did one tiny drop and then when it dries, just go ahead and cut that and there's your eye. So we're gonna make our magic circle again, wrap it around three times, go under the first two, over the last one and pull through. Turn your hand and take your pointer out so you have that. And then you're going to make your slip knot by pulling this through that loop. Chain two, one, two, and then make eight double crochets in the circle. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. Oh yeah. So we have our eight double crochets and then we can just go ahead and tighten the ring. So pull this one that's on that side, not this one, this one. Pull it to tighten it and then pull that tail. And there we have our little cheek. And then all you're gonna do is just make a slip stitch into that first double crochet. So right here, see we have our chain one, chain two. This is our double crochet right here. Just make a slip stitch. And then like I said earlier, make sure you have that tail that's long enough to sew on to the hat. and then pull through. And then this tail that's in the middle right here, we can go ahead and hide that one, but we're gonna use this one to sew it onto the hat. So I'm gonna make the other one and I'll be back. Okay, so my two 
blush patches are done and then I'm gonna show you how I made this long enough tail to sew the eye on since I did forget to leave one so I'm just gonna take my green yarn and then I'm gonna make a slip knot on my finger so wrap it around your two fingers just like this in an X pattern take your hook go under this one and then over here and then just pull through just like that and then we're gonna take the eyeball insert it in any of these stitches anyone and then put the slip knot on your hook and then pull it through and then you're just gonna chain one as if you normally would chain one and then just cut a long tail so I'm gonna cut like right here and then pull it through and now you have your long enough tail to sew on to the hat and then what I'm just gonna do is just hide this little tail right here I'm gonna use my darning needle just kind of weave it in anywhere and then I'm just gonna cut that it won't matter because this is gonna be the part that's like sewn onto the hat so it'll be hidden anyways so now that we have all of our pieces it is time to assemble the hat so here's my first hat and then here's the one we just made honestly what i like to do is just put the hat on kind of position it on your head where you want the eyes and the cheeks to be it doesn't really matter but i think i'm gonna go off of this hat so So the blush the blush patches on this hat are in between rows 9 and 10. So I'm just going to count from the top. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm just going to place it kind of wherever I want it to be. And then just start sewing it. So what I like to do is go in between this V, go through the hat, Come back up through the next V, pull it, and then go back down. It doesn't have to be perfect, so I'm going to come back up to this next V. And then just do that all the way around. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you just kind of want to hide the sewing yarn. You don't really want it to be visible. As long as you can sew this on without seeing the yarn on the outside, that's all that matters. So you're going to see it just barely on the inside, but that's fine because that's where our head is going to be. Okay, so I have the first one sewn on, and then what we're going to do with this tail is just insert it back into the first stitch. And then flip our hat inside out. And then if you can see, there are like these loops right here. There's, they're in every single row, so it doesn't really matter which row you decide. But I'm just going to go ahead and weave this excess yarn into these loops just to make sure it's secure. So you can put it as far as you want. I'd say right about here is good. Pull it through. And then you can go ahead and cut that yarn. You don't have to use super glue if you don't want to. I personally like to. I find that it holds very, very well. So I'm just going to put one drop of glue. Just like that. And then we can go ahead and cut this yarn. Our first cheek is on so I'm gonna do that with the other one and I'll be back for the eyes I have my cheeks sewn on and now I kind of put the hat on my head to see where I want the eyes just to visualize how it'll look like do I want them closer further apart which row so I inserted the yarn into the hook and then I pulled it through and now I'm just gonna keep going up and through here 
there's no right way to do it just want to make sure that it's secure onto the hat so they don't come off and I just keep going in this same motion as many times as I need to make sure that the eye is secure on the hat and then when it's time to weave in the tail I do the exact same thing that I did for the cheeks so once I feel like it's secure I'm going to keep doing it a few more times um, just go ahead and hide that tail the same way and I'll be back when both of them are on all right I have the eyes on they're a little bit closer than this one but I still think it looks really cute and now we are on the final step which is to just add the mouth like always put the yarn through the needle and then what I'm gonna do is kind of just look at where do I want the mouth to be so I think I'm actually do this row so I'm gonna insert the hook where I want the right side to start at then I'm gonna pull it through where I want the left side to start at so right here And then what I'm going to do is go back through where I inserted it at and then come up in the middle, so somewhere right here, and then just pull it and you'll see that it makes a little V-shape. If you like the V-shape, you can stick with that. And then I'm going to put it back in the same spot where I just pulled it up at. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the left of it. So I'm going to come up right here. Make sure to go on top of the yarn. Pull through. Go back down in the same hole that you came up from. Hopefully I'm explaining this well. And then pull through. And there's your mouth. So we can cut this piece. And then go back through where you inserted that so now both of the yarn tails are in are on the inside of the hat so I'm gonna flip it over and then I'm just gonna tie it very loosely because if you tie it too tight it might pull the hat so just loosely then the second knot can be tight and then I'm gonna go ahead and hide those tails the same way I've been doing the other ones so just insert them into the loops and then cut them and then that's pretty much it and here is the finished hat i absolutely love the way this turned out hopefully this tutorial was helpful to you in any way if you do decide to make this hat please tag me on instagram at love stitched by morgan or leave a comment below of how it turned out if you have any questions or were confused about any parts in this tutorial please leave a comment down below and let me know and I will try to help you as best as I can if you found this tutorial helpful in any way please consider liking the video subscribing to my mom's channel and turning on the bell for notifications because she does upload new content every single week thank you so much for joining me today and Thanks for watching.